Hey, did you ever notice this little small icon inside of Quixel Megascan? This little icon may be so powerful for you during your environment creation and can give you a hyper realistic result. But unfortunately, everyone ignore this. So hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we will talk about this little small icon that we always ignore inside of Quixel Bridge. What is this icon and how we can use this? This icon over here basically indicates the size or the scale of the 3D scan or 3D asset. Means if we place a human being near this object, the object will be this much big. and this is the actual size of that asset when the 3d scanner team scanned and created that asset basically they recommend you to don't change the size or the scale of the asset during any environment creation or anything i hope you understand little bit till now let's know how we can use this now we are here inside of Unreal engine 5 so let's jump into the quixel bridge so i will go here and click on quixel bridge so there are lots of 3d assets okay and all assets have different dimension and skills so let's go to the 3d asset and we will check one by one the scale of different assets okay so first we will go to nature and then we will go to this rock and next go to cliff and let's see the size of this this one this massive sandstone cliff okay you can check any of these assets okay so let's click here and now you can see there is a small human being and the object is so large means if we place a human being near to this asset then the size of this asset will be this much and the human being will be this much small okay so let's go to another asset something small so let's go to industrial and then this one the storage okay so let's click here now you can see the dimension the human being is big and the object is small means if we place this object near to the human being then the object size will be this much small and this is the human okay so we will use according to this scaling okay so how to use this let's see so first i will place a third person actor to my unreal engine so let's go to character mannequins meshes and i will add this one this one okay so let's place it here something like this and let's rotate it like this okay so this will be our reference as a human being so now we will start downloading from the quixel bridge so go to quixel bridge and then i will go to nature then i will go to this rock and here we have cliff option and let's download anything from this mm, something like this one and for now we are not going to increase or decrease the size of this asset okay we will use according to the recommended scale means this scale this size okay we will simply download this in nanite so our model is exported so let's drag and drop this to here so where is our mannequin sorry let's see where is our mannequin let's import this again and rotate this so now i will export my 3d export my quixel assets so this one so i will simply drag and drop this okay like this and now you can imagine the size of this asset so let's see you can see here so this is our person this is the person and this is the actual size of the this huge nordic coastal cliff okay so we must and i will recommend you to don't change the scale of this any assets okay use according to this reference always 
so you can decrease the size if necessary but don't increase it if you increase it it will not uh, look so much realistic and the texture will be stretched out okay i hope you got my point what i want to say so let's choose another one something small so i will go to this one and if i download this here also you can see the size of the human being and the object so simply download this let's download this in low quality just to show you so this downloaded let's export and now we will place this to here so now you can understand what i mean and what is the tutorial about okay so if we keep its size like this and do our project then our project will be more realistic and more powerful it will look more cinematic okay and if we decrease its size it will not look that much good okay you are free to use but it will not look that much hyper realistic okay because this is the actual size they they given in the reference okay so i will recommend you to use the actual size of the any 3d asset inside of quicksell bridge then you can get the actual actual dimension of the world so this is for today's video guys i hope this video will be helpful for you if this is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to my video and do subscribe to my channel for more upcoming tutorials thank you so much